Hello, I'm uh, Martin Klang for Rebel Technology at uh, Musik Messe 2014. And uh, I'm going to show you some uh, modules we have and our uh, effects pedal. And also some uh, prototypes that we're showing here this week. So, uh, we have a range of, uh, of algorithmic sequences, gate sequences, which have been on the market for a little while. And uh, they're uh, very fun and easy to use and produces extremely musical results. And uh, what we're uh, quite excited about is to be able to show uh, this uh, effects pedal, which started as a Kickstarter project. And uh, it, uh, it's fully open source and open hardware and allows you to program your own audio patches. And uh, this week we're also showing some prototypes. So this is the prototype of the AL in modular form, which allows you to run uh, so your own effects and uh, patches. And uh, since very recently, you can also run uh, pure data patches on the device. And it's got stereo inputs and outputs, CV controls for the four parameters, with the attenuators for the CVs. Uh, we can hear it in action. We, uh, We have a delay and a phaser. And uh, the hand clap here is coming through the bit reactor, which is uh, a big crusher device, uh, very low fi it doesn't contain a microcontroller and it can give us uh, some really gris gritty and uh, and uh, gnarly, gnarly sounds and there are also CV, parameter, uh, CV inputs for uh, the number of bits and uh, the sampling frequency And uh, finally we have uh, a, uh, a mixer that is the first in a series of mixers that we're going to produce. It's got four inputs and two outputs and uh, master controls on the two outputs and also uh, integrated BCA so you can uh, modulate the uh, master controls. And uh, yeah, that's pretty, much, uh, that's pretty much it from uh, Rebel Technology here at Musik Messe. So tell me a bit more about the Kickstarter pedal. Yeah, so we started the Kickstarter campaign last year and uh, it ran in uh, June, finished in July. And we, we uh, raised uh, enough funds to be able to reach all of our stretch goals. So we uh, ended up with a very, really capable device with stereo in and out. It's got uh, 8 megabit of uh, onboard memory and ARM Cortex-M4 processor, uh, true bypass. Uh, expression pedal input and um, yeah we're extremely pleased with it and there's a growing community of developers who uh, contribute patches and we have some really talented uh, coders working uh, working on this platform now. So give us a overview of what it actually is and what it does. Yeah so it's a, it's a programmable device it's got a, a USB connector at the back which is now connected to uh, Tom's laptop here but uh, it runs, it operates standalone, so you can use it as it is. Um, with the, over USB, you can change the patches that are on it, and by patch we mean effectively uh, the uh, effect or synthesis that is on there. And we have uh, reverbs and delays and faces and uh, all the sort of bread, bread and butter effects. We have a growing library of currently about 30, 35 effects, and more of them being con contributed all the time. And uh, now also the amazing capability, thanks to the Tannhauser project, which Tannhauser is a pure data compiler, which allows us to run PD patches on the on the device, which is uh, pr pretty cool. The 
other thing is, you say it was easy to use these uh, algorithmic uh, yeah. processes, but I've heard it was a bit more complex than that. Well, they're, I mean, they're, they're uh, very simple in their function, and actually the algorithm is very simple. What's amazing with it is that um, you get such uh, musical results from such a sim simple algorithm. So for our, our kick drum here, we can set the length of the sequence. So now it's up to 16, 16 beats in the sequence. Um, we can set the number of fills, the number of actual kicks in that sequence. And once we have our sequence, we can also rotate it so that it's offset in comparison to uh, the other sequences. And our snare drum here, we can run that at a different length to get an offset in order to generate much more interesting musical patterns. Also by running uh, odd length patterns, you get uh, very complex evolving rhythmical structures.